Hello and welcome back to Story Retold, continuing with The Haunted Carousel, Nancy Drew's eighth mystery from her and her active. And we had ordered the Captain's Cove Fun Day, the last video, and we're going to consume it this time. I really want to make these, um, this because it, it looks like Nancy consumes it. These little uh, s scallops shells. Oh, that was so good. I bet you it's a cookie. It looks kind of like a Madeline cookie, but not quite. It would be a really cool cookie to make, actually. I should find a mold. Like a baking tray mold for that. Oh, that would be great. Captain's Cove, New Jersey, USA. Cool souvenir spoon. Very awesome. All right, we're gonna take that back to Miles. At Joy's. Ooh. Hello? This is Luis Guerra with the State Board of Parole. I understand you have some questions concerning Harlan Bishop. Right. Hi. Uh, yes, for starters, could you tell me what prison he was in? He served 30 months in Bayside State Prison for check kiting and forgery. He was paroled five weeks ago. Was he ever at New Jersey State Prison? No, ma'am. Have you seen him since he's been paroled? He comes to my office once a week. As far as I know, Harlan is a security guard at Captain's Cove Amusement Park. Now, do all these questions mean you know something about him that I don't? No, that's pretty much what I know, too. Well, I hope I've been of some assistance. Oh, you have. You've been a big help. Thank you. Good day, then. Bye. Okay, so that's his parole officer that he's been checking in with. Okay, on the level, I guess. Any luck? I'm pretty sure Miles wants us to bring him the souvenir spoon you get when you order a fun day Sunday at the captain's quarters. I have one right here. Give it to Miles and see what happens. Lay it on me. What if we give him a rubber shark instead, huh? What in the name of all that digital is that? <laughs> okay, let's try it. Let's try. Let's try. <gasps> the soldering gun. Why on earth would I want that? How about a chewed pencil? Why on earth would I want that? How about a toy boat? What in the name of all that digital is that? A Captain's Cove token? The weight is incorrect. Try again. How about uh, one of these yo-yo thingies? What in the name of all that digital is that? A uh, ring? The weight is incorrect. Try again. Okay, okay, whatever. Let's give him a spoon. See what happens. The scan is complete. The object is correct. Your mother used to take you for a Sunday at the captain's quarters almost every week. Do you remember, Joy? The captain's quarters fun day. I do remember that. I was so small, I always had to sit on my mother's lap to eat it. I wish I could remember what she looked like. Miles, in the riddle, you said something about telling a truth long since put away. You were very little when your mother died, Joy. Your grief came out as anger. Before your father could stop you, you destroyed every picture of your mother that he had. I did that? No, my father told me he had gotten rid of them. He always said some things are better left forgotten. Oh my gosh, I'm the reason I have nothing to remember her by. I'm sure your father helped you shut out the truth in order to spare your feelings. The older your father got, Joy, the more he realized that life is nothing but memories. He realized that even bad memories have a place in a good life. That is why he invented Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine. Ooh, where'd that come Here is from? the second riddle. This one is written down. Please remove it. Now, maybe we won't. It's just a blank piece of paper. You and your mother used to love to play this game, Joy. Once again, I have no idea what he's talking about. Don't give up yet. If you still want to help me, please, Nancy, keep going. I feel like a door somewhere is starting to creak open. I'm kind of scared to open it, but I also kind of know I have to. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll be right here. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't think I have very many memories um, pre prior to age four myself. I don't know. Um, what else is on our task list? I know we can check <clears throat> Excuse me. our task list at the hotel, which is where we're going to need to go anyways here. Or, you know what? We can confront uh, Harlan at the moment about Louise Guerra. Hey, Nancy, what's up? I seem to have used up all the fun on my fun pass. Did you say I could get another one? I certainly did. Here you go. Enjoy. I'll see you around. Sounds good. Okay. Um, let's see what we else we can do. Uh, we didn't finish getting all the tokens we needed from Midway Games because we didn't get the last item. Uh, we've only got one token, so we're going to have to play something. Let's play one round of Barnacle Blast. Arr! Time for a game of Barnacle Blast! You have four fun credits left on your card. Now blast all those nasty barnacles off the ship! We have to do medium and hard to... Okay, okay, so it's the arrows... And space bar, that's right. So the the version this came this mini game came back in Nancy Drew Secrets Can Kill Remastered, which was released in 2010. Uh, and it was greatly improved because based on where the ball hit on the paddle helped to determine where it was going to go next. So you had a little bit more control. Uh, the physics of the game, the mini puzzle was really improved as well so here I'm just moving around and pretty much just catching the ball until it eventually hits all the barnacles it's a lot more fun to play in Secrets Can Kill Remastered but that was also an optional thing to do to play in that game here it's required so we won the shell token that's great level two Oh boy. We've got a lot of barnacles to clear. <laughs> I hopped into another gamer's stream on Twitch. They were playing this mini game in Seekers Can Kill Remastered. And she wanted to get all 20 levels accomplished. So we spent over an hour just watching her intensely focused on not failing and trying to get through. All 20 levels. It was amazing. I wish I could remember the name. <laughs> okay. Okay, I kind of steered it by hitting it on the corner and the edge here. Oh boy. How are we gonna get this thing? Here, no, 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 no. Oh. How? There we go. Yay! Won the mermaid token. Yay us. At least it's only two levels. Okay, let's see. We wanted the last. Got this one. This one. Where's the other one? Oh, it's right here. Yay! Harmonica. Do wop wa. Easy peasy harmonicas. Made in Thailand. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, I can look at it. Nice. Okay, back to the hotel. Oh, wait. Let's check our task list. I want to see what we have. It's been a week since I've played this game, so. Oh, not much there. Have to wait for the scroll to get all the way down. <laughs> Keep checking email. Well, great. Okay, so. What's in our inbox? Have I read these? Um... Oh, yes, we read all of these. Yeah, okay. 
I'm curious whose picture that was that was taken on the desktop wallpaper there. Wait, let's order some food. I know I'm, I am procrast procrastinating my chores here. Hotel operator, what do you want? I'd like to order the pasta and veggie platter with orange juice instead of a soft drink, please. Health matter? Well, whatever. Anything else? That's it. Thanks a lot. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Nice. Pasta. Is that a bread roll? And veggies. It doesn't look very appetizing. Like, we need a better sauce. Mm-hmm. I'm glad you liked it, Nancy. Okay, name name your favorite type of pasta. Are you a spaghetti person? Alfredo? I... Or do you like gnocchi? I like gnocchi. I've had a sweet potato gnocchi one time. It was weird, but I don't think I'll ever want to try making it from, from scratch myself because the consistency is difficult to uh, master, but... I love pasta and carbs. More heat. I want to try this in real life. I need to do this. I need to write in lemon juice and let it dry. And then what, like maybe 24 hours later, try applying heat this way. So the cool. The first eight notes of your favorite band organ tune, uh -oh. plus one mouth organ, plus one smidgen of talent, equals one happy miles. Okay. Is that off? I need to turn the iron on. Okay, good. That's how you check. <laughs> um, I wish we could enter the, the restroom or see the exit here, uh, the map. All right, let's go talk to Joy. Any luck? There was a message written in lemon juice on that piece of paper Miles gave us. We're to play the first eight notes of your favorite band organ tune on a mouth organ for Miles. My favorite band organ tune? I don't even know what a band organ is. Or a mouth organ either, for that matter. A band organ is what usually plays the music you hear when you ride a carousel. And a mouth organ is a harmonica. You used to play the harmonica for your mother all the time, Joy. Your favorite tune was the one you heard on the carousel? It couldn't have been. I never rode the carousel. I always thought it was stupid. I thought all the rides in the park were stupid. Is that all you can tell us, Miles? I have been programmed to give you one hint. The tune is on the third roll. You will have to think about this one. End of hint. <sighs> it's all yours, Detective. As usual, I'm stumped. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I really appreciate your help. Tink, huh? Okay. Well, let's go explore the carousel just a bit. Because it has to do with this. So we know the band organ. Can we get in here? Yay! <gasps> oh, we're inside. Oh. A cabinet. We do not have the, the combination for that. Ooh. <sighs> Time to start crawling. This goes yeah. to the space underneath the carousel. Ooh, caution beyond this point. We got pigs here. <gasps> Look. I wonder what that is. Transmit sig signal. Receiving signal. Zap text transmitters. Remote model 3691C. If I don't move, I'm going to get skewered. Skewered, Nancy. Oh. Wonder what that is. If I don't move, I'm gonna get skewered. There's something up there. Ooh. Looks like a letter. I can't reach it. What can you throw at it, Nancy? Throw the toy I boat. I can't reach it. The soldering gun. I can't reach it. Fine. Woo! Amelia Kessler. The ballroom. That's what was converted into the haunted house. 
The fifth horse is Foxfire. Foxfire is a phosphorescent fungus that grows on rotting wood. Always thought fondly of that name. Music plays in the ballroom above my workshop. There's a workshop below the haunted house. So, there was a door to Kessler's workshop by the radiator in what's now the haunted house. The radiator. There's a hidden door behind the radiator that leads to this workshop. <gasps> Oh, this is from Rolf himself. Ooh. Oh, hang on, hang on. The music player here. Guess I'm gonna have to call Tink, whoever he is. Do not touch anything in here without asking me first or else. All right, time to call Tink. Um, oh, we should call the Hardy Boys. Let's see what they have to say. Hello? Hey, Frank, it's Nancy. I'm on too, Nance. What's new? That talking thing in Joy's office ratted me out. Uh-oh, it told her you'd been snooping? Yeah, but as it turns out, Joy admires my spunk. In fact, she wants me to help her. Help her do what? Well, the computer, whose name is Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine, has apparently been programmed with a bunch of riddles she'd like me to solve. Why doesn't she solve them? I kind of think she's afraid to. Her late father apparently designed the riddles to make her remember her childhood. Why can't she remember her childhood? Good question. But in any case, I said I'd help her. I don't know, Nance. Isn't she one of your suspects? Well, yeah, but... Come on, Frank. Since when does Nancy Drew ever turn down A, a plea for help, and B, the chance to solve something, including riddles? I just think she should be careful, that's all. I better get going. Bye, Nancy. See you around the campus. All right, let's call Bess and George. Hello? Hey, Bess, it's me. Hi, Nance. Oh my gosh, he called. Yes, we're going out next Friday. Let me guess, you're going to a movie. Yes, he gets free tickets and free refills. There you have it, Nance. Bess has achieved Nirvana, and I'm free to move about the room without fearing for my life. So what's new with you? Oh. I almost got creamed by the roller coaster when I was on the tracks looking around, and I don't think it was an accident. Someone tried to kill you? Ouch. I found one of Joy's chewed up pencils just before it happened, but she says she doesn't know how it got there. Just from now on, stay away from that coaster, Nan. Stick to the carousel. Man, I never thought I'd hear myself say that. <laughs> I translated that stenography note thanks to you guys. So what did it say? Well, it wasn't really all that exciting. It was a memo about how somebody bought the horse that was called Glory off the carousel and how it would have to be replaced. All that research for that? Bummer. Why would someone buy a carousel horse? Because they knew there were jewels hidden inside? Could be. <sighs> Looks like we'll never know. Darn it. You might. We might know. I found a very odd looking device under the carousel. I'm willing to bet that it's the reason the carousel seems to be turning on and off by itself. So whoever put it there must know a lot about electronics. Like that chief engineer person, maybe? She'd be my next stop. I finally met the park's art director, Elliot Chen. We kind of got off on the wrong foot, but he's real friendly to me now. But is he too friendly? That's the question. Yeah, maybe he's trying to deflect suspicion by making nice. That could be. I do get the feeling he knows more about the carousel than he lets on. Uh-oh. Sounds like another candidate for the... Suspect list. I found a letter written by Rolf Kessler to his wife, Amelia. It was hidden inside the carousel. A hidden love letter? That's so romantic. What did it say? Well, apparently she'd left him and he was begging her to come back. Wait a minute. If the letter was to her, why was it inside the carousel? Because he never sent it, he was too scared that she'd reject him. So he hid the letter inside the carousel, hoping someday he'd have enough guts to send it. But he never did. Oh my gosh, romantic and tragic. In the letter, he mentioned that his workshop was under the ballroom, which is now the haunted house. Do you think the workshop is still there? You can bet I'm going to look. Maybe Kessler's still there too. Maybe he's like the phantom of the amusement park. 
A hundred-year-old phantom? I'm sure, Bess. I found out that after Joy's mother died, she was so distraught that she destroyed every single picture of her mother that her father had. Yikes, that's a little twisted. The really weird thing is that she'd completely blocked it out of her memory. She thought her father had destroyed all the pictures. Sounds like she could use a good shrink. I'd leave her on your suspect list, that's for sure. To solve the second riddle, the one that was written in lemon juice, I have to play Joy's favorite tune from the carousel on a harmonica. So what's her favorite tune? Well, that's kind of the problem. Let me guess. Little Miss Headcase can't remember. <laughs> Headcase. <laughs> she says she never even rode the carousel. Just be careful, Nan. This lady sounds none too stable. Yeah, she sounds like old dynamite. One false move and kaboom! Kaboom! Turns out Ingrid was calling Lance Huffington to share a remedy for neck pain with him. Or so she says. She's also been making money on the side by helping someone design a roller coaster. Or so she says. I agree with Bess. Don't go erasing her from your suspect list just yet, Nan. What do you have to say for hints, friends? Got anything for me in the way of hints? Go look for the door Kessler mentioned in that letter you found. Okay. Catch you guys later. We'll be right here. Toodles. Toodles. Okay, let's... We need to call Tink. That's what we're really here for. Should probably check in with Paula, too. Yeah, yeah, this is Tink. Yes, hello. My name is Nancy Drew. I never heard of you. Yes, I know. I'm trying to help Ms. Santos figure out what caused the roller coaster accident that shut down Captain's Cove. So why are you calling me? I run the carousel. I don't know from coasters. Well, to make a long story short, I need to find out the name of the band organ song that's on the third roll. What for? Hmm. That's kind of where the long story part comes in. I haven't got time for long stories. Besides, how do I know you even know Miss Santos? Okay, to get your number, I had to get the band organ open, right? And to get the band organ open, I had to have an access card. And to get an access card... You'd have to know Ms. Santos. Yeah, 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 I get your point. Problem is, I got no idea what song's on the third roll. Only way you're gonna find out is to play it. Play it, huh? Does a band organ still play paper rolls? You bet. Just flip the switch from CD to roll. Of course, you're gonna need roll three, ain't you? It's in the cabinet in the gear room. In the cabinet in the gear room. You mean the one that's locked? 18, 9, <laughs> 39. That's a combination. Oh, and one more thing. You're gonna have a problem when you go to load the roll on account of... On account of what? Holy moly! I either snagged a greyhound bus or the biggest fish in the Shaplow River is right here in the end of my line! <laughs> I'm sorry, hon, I gotta go! Ooh. Boy, oh boy. I have a shark. Um, my father-in-law is actually fishing out right now in the Columbia River. Here's hoping he catches something within the next few weeks, because that would be exciting. The last time he went fishing, he got a sturgeon. Which was really fun. Okay, so we can go in here now and unlock the cabinet. Um... So 18, 9, 30, 9. Let's Yay! see. Miles said the song is on the third roll. This must be it. I want to play the other ones. Can I play the others? I want to listen to the other musics. Oh, okay. Oh. I have to step out first for that. Okay, so what we do is... It's on CD. Switch to roll. Something's missing here. This looks a little like the inside of my aunt's player piano. Aunt Eloise has a player piano? I played Secrets Can Kill. I don't remember seeing her piano. Maybe it was in a different room that we just didn't have access to. The take-up dowel is broken. No! Okay. All right, we gotta fix the dowel. You know who could help us is the art director. Oops. Okay, uh, can we confront Ingrid? We should also check out the Demons of the Deep 
haunted house though too. Hey Nance, what's going on? I need to make a dowel to replace this broken one from the band organ. Would it be all right if I used your equipment? I won't make a mess, I promise. Sure. Got a lathe, wooden rods, safety goggles. Knock yourself out. I gotta go run an errand though, so try not to cut off any appendages until I get back. Appendages. Okay, I have to quickly do something real quick. Okay, so he ha it was mentioned that you need to put on the safety goggles, so we're gonna have some fun. And not do that just yet. We're actually gonna be head hazard to ourselves, so it'll be fun. Um, okay. We've got a piece of wood. Can we snoop this? Hmm, if Elliot wrote this guy's number down, maybe I should too. Oh my goodness, I think that's one of our that was one of her interactives team members. I forget his name. Sukov. Who is he? Uh, an article about Kessler. Okay, so he knows a lot about Rolf Kessler. What is this all about? It looks like a chia, a, a, a chia potted plant thing. Okay. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. He vanished from history. Uh, study the peaceful delicacy of his trademark black rose and come away. Huh. Okay, we should call Sukov. How do I back out of here? <laughs> there we go. He's gone. That's a Poppy Dada. Poppy Dada is the artist from Secret of the Scarlet Hand. Ooh. Looks like he's uh, painting a seahorse. Okay, what can we get here? We already got that. Okay, we don't need anything here then. <gasps> Look, a package. All right, so if you remember from the previous video, we acquired an Easter egg. You should probably check out how I did that at the end of the last video. But what you do next is not very well known. You take that Easter egg, and when you get the chance to come in here and open this box, you use the Easter egg to click on the horse tail. Those look like horse tails. Okay, great. We have triggered. There's a little bit of green pixel in the egg. <laughs> okay. Okay, now. I should probably save my game. Just in case. Just in case I mess something up. We're gonna leave. We're immediately going to Midway Games. Okay? I'm gonna click on the prize matic so we're looking at it, okay? Now. We're gonna use the Easter egg. And there is a little hot spot in the top right corner here. Now see if you can follow along these lines. This is Nancy. Hi, it's me. Hi, Nancy. Uh, how's it going? Uh, why are you calling? Well, I'm at Rose's right now in San Francisco, and I can't figure out where to find the key to the attic. Oh, that's easy. It's in the old cash register in the basement. Ah, okay, that'll help. You're awesome. No, you are awesome. <laughs> well, I gotta run. Got a case to solve, you know. Say hi to Charlie for me. Will do. Good luck. Nancy Drew Inception. Isn't that the weirdest thing? That's so cool. All right, let's go back to Elliot's place. Put the Easter egg away. We're gonna finish this process. Hello, you. Okay, we've got tape here. So what we need to do is we put the broken one down and I'm going to do, take handwritten notes. Okay, so it's about, let's see, one, two and a half inches thick here. And then it's really thin. 
um, into like 11 inches or so. I'm just redrawing the whole thing. This is uh, two inches here. And this is about a uh, half inch. It's about a quarter inch, it's kind of hard to tell. Can we use tape to just fix it, you know? <gasps> Would it be okay if I took some tape? It might come in handy. Help yourself. Yes, taking stuff. Taking stuff is what we do. Um, okay. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna lay some wood. We're gonna cut some wood. Okay, okay, here we go. Uh, what do we do? Oh. You're in the hospital with a piece of wood in your eye? Several pieces, actually, but the doctors got most of them out. I used Elliot's lathe without wearing eye protection. <laughs> Never do that again. Why were you using Elliot's lathe? I was making a new dowel for the band organ. I'm beginning to think being cursed is nothing compared to having you around. You're off the case. <laughs> yes. Okay, gotta take these safety goggles. It's all fun and games until somebody loses an eye. <laughs> all right, let's see if we can do this now. Activated. Dow. In. Um, let's refer to my notes, my scribbles. So at about, uh, okay, we gotta, it's really, we got three levels of how deep it cuts. Okay, great. And then I don't know how far over it's gonna affect. Okay, so what we're looking at here, so about two inches and we do yeah, a very tiny one. Move it over here. Let's see how deep this will go. Okay, let's trim it just a little bit more and see if that'll work. That looks right to me. That looks perfect. Yay! Better leave these goggles here. Okay. Can we talk to Elliot again? Hey, Nance. What's going on? I noticed you have a poppy dada. We met at an art show last year. She insisted I take that piece home with me. She'd never admit it, but she thinks I'm hot. Ha! <laughs> uh, it was one of my goals before I left her interactive to recreate his t-shirt available to make it available in Teespring, but I didn't get to do that. Ran out of time. What color was the tail of the carousel horse that was stolen? I don't remember. I could probably dig up an old picture and look. Oh. That's okay. How hard do you think it would be to make a forgery of a carousel horse? I have no idea. You don't, do you? I'll let you get back to work. Keep it real. You don't, but you're the art director. You can figure out how to do a lot of things. Okie doke. Um, let's step out. Let's make a phone call to Sukov. Anton Sukov. <laughs> Creepy sound effects in the background. Sukov. My name is Nancy Drew. I saw the article you wrote about Rolf Kessler in the collector's hot sheet magazine. That was several months back, but go on. Well, seeing as you're pretty much an expert on Kessler as well as carousels, I wondered if you could answer a question or two for me. I'd be delighted. These sound effects were used in Curse of Blackmore Manor, but this game happened first. That's interesting. Did you by any chance hear about the horse that was stolen off the carousel at Captain's Cove Amusement Park in New Jersey? It was one of the carousels that Kessler carved. Yes, I did, and I thought, how odd. Because you see, 
I'd gotten a call from someone about a month prior to that asking me how much I thought one of those horses would be worth. Really? Do you have any idea who it was that called? None whatsoever. He never gave me his name, nor did he say where he was calling from. The thought that I may have actually encouraged someone to mutilate a work of art. Oh. How much would a horse from a Kessler carousel be worth? Depending on its condition, whether it's an inside horse or an outside horse, whether it's the lead horse, anywhere from 80000 to well over $100,000. Wow, that's a lot of money. Yes, it is. But Kessler carved horses for only five carousels in his lifetime. So not only is each horse exquisitely beautiful, but it's very rare, especially if it's the lead horse. The lead horse? The outside horse, just behind the chariot. The place where you can sit instead of ride. It's traditionally the most ornately carved horse on the carousel, hence the most valuable. Did you hear about how the carousel at Captain's Cove is now allegedly haunted because one of the horses was stolen? <laughs> yes, what a wonderfully romantic piece of nonsense. Are any of Kessler's other carousels thought to be haunted? No, the one at Captain's Cove is a first. But I think I know what's going on. Someone wants publicity. Whoever stole the horse wants people to know that it's gone so that when he or she goes to sell it, there will be a whole slew of eager buyers. But we're talking about stolen property. Are you saying people would willingly buy something they know was stolen? We're talking about the black market, my dear. Great works of art get stolen by thieves and bought by less than scrupulous collectors all the time. If someone did steal that horse off the carousel in order to make money off of it, what would be his or her next move? How would they go about selling it? Well, the thief would probably get a middleman to set up a bidding war between several buyers in order to get the highest price. The internet comes in very handy in such matters. Thanks for all the info. Call again anytime. Very interesting. It was a he. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can't explore in here a little bit. We needed this card. There's the radiator. Ah. That symbol looks familiar. We have this. Another sliding passageway. We don't have a key? It's locked. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Okay, fine. There's obviously a trapdoor right here. Oops, I didn't want to go there. Oh, yes, I did, actually. Okay, so this was the lead horse that was stolen because it's the one right behind the carriage. Oh boy, okay. All right, let's try this out. Okay, new dowel with the number three roll. We need to know what those notes are. So what we're gonna do is learn our lesson from the fan in Elliot's office using tissue papers. I need to tape them to the pipes. And use the tape.
Okay, I still didn't get all of it. But I think I have this, like, memorized from how many times I have played this game. So let's try it. Oops. memory. Let's go sing this to Miles. But we're gonna give him a show. We're gonna play something else. I don't know what, because I don't know how to... I don't know any Will Nancy tunes. Drew please report immediately to the security office? And by immediately, I mean don't even think about doing anything else. I he sounds mad. I better go to Harlan's. He sounds mad. I just got off the phone with Miss Santos. Where do you get off telling her I'm some kind of jewel thieving peeping Tom? She called you? Of course she called. She hired me because she thought I deserved a second chance. She wanted to make sure I hadn't betrayed her trust. Which I hadn't, by the way. I know that now, and I'm really sorry. I figured if I did a good job here, it would prove to everybody once and for all that I was totally trustworthy. That I was more than just an ex-con. A lot more. Okay, so maybe I'm trying a little too hard. Maybe people's entry codes should be off limits. It's just that this job means everything to me. I don't want to screw it up. I guess I was a little overzealous too. I I'm really sorry. I'll see you around. Awkward. Sorry. I don't feel like talking right now. My back's kind of sore. Probably because somebody just got done stabbing me there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Any luck? I think we're all set. I know the tune and I've got a harmonica. Play it for Miles and see what happens. My oral sensors are ready. Suck it to me. Okay, let's see if I can do this in completion before he interrupts me. I remember that song. I did ride the carousel over and over and over. Always the same horse. Always the same black horse. You loved the carousel, and you loved one horse in particular. It was not the lead horse, and it was not spectacular. But you loved it, Joy. What was its name? I can't remember. I totally forgot to play some other random tune for Miles just to see what happens. I'm sorry. Is the name important? I am not programmed to continue unless and until you remember the name of that horse. You loved it so much that your mother bought it for you. She was the one who bought the horse off the carousel? Then I know the name. Glory. A glory. That's right. Glory. My mother gave him to me for my birthday. My fourth birthday. She died in a car accident that very night. Oh, man. That's rough. How awful. No wonder you forgot how much you love the carousel. It would have reminded you of your mother. I hated the park after my mother died. I hated the carousel. And I hated that horse. I blamed it for what happened to my mother. I had my father destroy it. But your father did not destroy it. Instead, he stored it. He hoped that someday, with the help of... Miles, the Magnificent Memory Machine! You would come to terms with your past. And because that is what you are doing, here is the third and final riddle. Ask Tink for the book you and I used to read about Kessler and Amelia so kind. Give her nickname a spin on spook number 10. Then the brass prize arrange on its forearm so strange. And something long lost and cherished you'll find. Spook number 10. Tink's the guy who runs a carousel. Let's give him a call. I've got his number. No. Nancy, I did something terrible. I turned the power off to the roller coaster and caused the accident that shut down the park. I blamed Miss Santos for my father's death, just like I blamed that horse for what happened to my mother. I feel horrible. Keep going without me, Nancy. 
I have to go see Ms. Santos and apologize. Mm, confession. She did something. She did something bad. <clears throat> we should talk to Ingrid. We haven't talked to her at all yet in this gameplay. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? I found something underneath the carousel that looks like it might be a remote control device. Oh? I'd like to see it. Interesting. I looked under there. Wonder how I missed it. May I have this? Actually, I'd kind of like to keep it. Suit yourself. Did you know that the man who carved the carousel horses had a workshop under what's now the haunted house? How appropriate, considering Kessler's belief in the supernatural and all. I heard some strange sounds the last time I was in there. They seem to be coming from below. That's odd. I've been doing a lot of work in there lately and I haven't heard any strange noises. So either your ears are better than mine, or your imagination is. Oh, come on. Isn't that the most annoying thing when someone says, no, you're not hearing things. You just have an imagination. <sighs> no, no, I've heard something. I discovered a hidden door in the haunted house. Is that right? Unfortunately, it's locked. It's obvious you don't put much stock in curses. Right. But a word to the wise, there really do exist some doors that no one should open. I'd be very careful if I were you. <gasps> Ingrid said that quote first. And then this was reused in Curse of Blackmore Manor by Linda. There are some doors that should never be opened. Thanks for your help. One open mind sees more than two open eyes. Hmm. Okay, now what should we do? Uh, we should go see the... Will Nancy Drew please report to the security office? No. You don't sound angry enough. Is there anything else that we can look at in here? I can't push that button. Ah. Can't look at that again. Can't look at this. Can't look at anything. That's too bad. I stepped out for a second, and when I came back, somebody'd left this envelope on my desk. Looks like it's for you. Got your name on it anyway. Typed. There's nothing inside but a key. Ooh. Maybe it opens that door in the haunted house. Here, let me toss that envelope for you. I want to apologize for jumping all over you like that before. The more I thought about it, the more I realized that I would have done just what you did. No hard feelings? No hard feelings. Okay. We have a key. I love it when people give us keys. Um. Wait, were we supposed to call someone? Yeah, let's go use our key. Looks like Spook 10 is missing an arm. Oh dear. The arm is missing. It's been red tagged. Better not take the tag until I fix this. Okay, I guess we'll have to talk to Ingrid about that. Okay. <gasps> Hidden compart- hidden passages. I Maybe love it. Maybe these stairs go down to Kessler's workshop. <gasps> Ingrid's pliers. Odd sounds from above. What was that? That's never good. This is a dead end room. Oh look, a puffin. <gasps> or a pufferfish. You were unconscious for how long? I'm not sure. Whatever fell on my head also fell on my arm and broke my watch. <laughs> I can't afford any more accidents, Nancy. And since you seem to be rather accident prone, well, let's just say you're off the case. <laughs> Try again. What was that? Oh. Yeah, now is not a good time to hang out any longer because there's no doors. You can't go anywhere. It's a total dead end. Someone could be trying to finish her off anytime soon. Okay, um, let's, let's regroup. Why is there still danger music in my hotel room? 
Let's order for some food, okay? Let's just let's just do that. Hotel operator, what do you want? I can only order three things. I'd like to order the hamburger platter. With milk instead of a soft drink. I know the drill. Anything else? That's it. Thanks a lot. Saving you has been a pleasure. <laughs> Food. Nice. It's a cheeseburger. Mm. Goodness, I want a cheeseburger now. All right, let's take a look at our task list. No, maybe not inbox. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. Sassy detective tip 59. Next time you find the bad guy closing in on you, remember that you can often escape by distracting him. Direct his attention to something valuable that you have. Your watch, wallet, purse, even your weapon. Then toss it aside, or if the situation warrants, toss it at your would-be assailant. A moment or two of distraction is usually all the mentally and physically agile detective needs to make a success successful escape. Oh, okay. Still more news from home. Dear Nancy, the good news is Togo just got done eating and is off playing with his yellow squeaky toy. The bad news is the men dropped the TV while they were moving it and it couldn't be fixed. When you get home, do Togo and me a favor and tell your father how nice the new TV is and remind him that he was thinking about getting a new one anyways. Love, Hannah. Oh, that's too bad. Help. <gasps> Dear Nancy, Togo tossed his squeaky toy while playing in the study, and it somehow bounced behind your father's beautiful built-in cherry wood bookcase. <laughs> Please come home soon. Love, Hannah. Oh my goodness. You need to reconsider the furniture situation. Maybe put a barrier around the floor of every piece of furniture to prevent toys going under. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and talk to Ingrid. Um, where are we supposed to? Yeah, I gotta talk to Ingrid. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? Here's your pliers. I found them in the haunted house behind that hidden door, which led to a booby trap. I told you mine were missing. Maybe somebody found them and left them by that door on purpose. I don't know. But they prove nothing. I do know that. There's a dummy in the haunted house that's been red tagged. It's missing an arm. Any chance it'll be up and running again in the near future? Got the arm right here. Just needed a battery. That's one of the dummies Joy Trent's father created. Probably why the circuitry is so bizarre. <laughs> it works though, so just reattach it. You'll need pliers. Can you give me back the ones I just gave you? Oh, and don't forget to take the oh, red good. tag back to Spy Master Bishop. Thanks for your help. No big deal. Ooh, okay, we have a task. Um, let's go to, where are we going? We're going here. Were we supposed to call someone? Was it Tink? Let's call Tink, see how he's doing with his fishing. This is Tink. Hi, it's Nancy Drew. Did you land that fish? I don't want to talk about it. Can I answer your question? According to the late Daryl Trent, you have a book about Rolf Kessler and his wife. Not anymore, I don't. You don't have it? Daryl Trent was kind of an oddball, you know what I mean? So when he gave me the book, I said I'd hang on to it just to humor him. As soon as he died, I pitched him. <gasps> Did you ever read the book yourself? Nah, not really. I just kind of glanced through it. Maybe you can help me. Kessler apparently had a special name for Amelia. Who's Amelia? Oh, never mind. Oh, Sorry. man. I'm curious. Who do you think stole that horse off the carousel? Kids. Stare at each other. Doing stupid kid stuff. Maybe somebody just liked the way old Nightshade looked and wanted him for himself. I don't know. Nightshade? That was its name. Nightshade. Oh. Kessler gave all of his horses names. Painted them on their bridles. Nightshade is the stolen horse. Have fun fishing. Oh, I will. Let's call the, um, the expert on Kessler, Anton Sukov. Sukov. Hi, it's Nancy Drew again. I have another question for you about Rolf Kessler. A very important question. Let's hear it. Would you happen to know the nickname Rolf Kessler gave his wife, Amelia? Of course I do. At least, I thought I did. It was an Austrian term of endearment, rather common. Oh, come on, Anton, think. Spatzi. That was it. Spatzi. S-P-A-T-Z-I. He always called her Spatzi. 
Thanks for all the info. Always happy to share my mental wealth. <laughs> mental wealth. It's locked. It's awesome. All right. Let's make the spook work. Put the arm on. And we tighten the ring. That looks tight enough. Great. So then we put what? The arm on or the ring on? We can't until it's on, okay. I need to take this red tag back to Harlan. Oops. No power. Okay, so it won't work unless we've got power. Let's take the tag back to Harlan. Wait. Sounds like sanding. Someone's down there. Hey, Nancy, what's up? I found an old letter in the gear room of the carousel. It was written by the guy who carved all the horses, Rolf Kessler. Is it okay if I keep it? As far as I'm concerned, I'll mention it to Miss Santos, see what she says. Oh, wow, I can talk to him about a lot of stuff. I found some kind of electronic device under the carousel. I'm pretty sure someone has been turning the carousel on and off at night by remote control. Why would somebody want to do that? Whatever you found was probably just some kind of toy that fell out of some kid's pocket. Kessler used to have a workshop under what's now the haunted house. Have you ever been down there? I didn't even know there was a down there there. So you don't know anything about the hidden door in the room that has the old radiator in it? Sure don't. Never heard any of the other guards say anything about it either. Hmm. May I see that tape of the carousel haunting again? I got the tape right here all queued up. So burst of static which interferes with power to turn it on. And there's no one around. Hang on. Wait a minute. Was the lead horse on there? Could you please turn the juice back on to the dummy in the haunted house that Ingrid was fixing? Here's the tag. You've really got the system down, don't you? I'll just flip the switch and you'll be good to go. I'll see you around. Go get them. Hang on. Hey, I Nancy, see. Nancy, what's up? Ah. I'll see you around. Knock him dead. Okay. Couldn't remember if I saw the lead horse was missing or not. Um. Who should we go? Should we go see anyone? Let's go see Joy. See how she's doing. <gasps> I am Miles, the magnificent memory machine. Can I talk to you? Joy has stepped out of the office. Thanks, Miles. The Nancy Drew entity is welcome. Okay, can I snoop more of her area? Is there anything new to look at? Her pencil. That's all we can look at. I would be snooping the briefcase. The rest of her desk, but... You know. Oh, this corner of the office right here needs a lamp. It's way too dark. Did we look at everything here? I want to read the letters. Huh. Okay. Ah, uh, what a great place to have a, a villain sneak up on you. A haunted house. <laughs> wow, look at that guy glow. He's awesome. You, I shall name, I shall dub thee Spotsy. I can't fit it on your hand. Your fingers are too big. All right, Spotsy it is. Joy, this is it. <gasps> There's the trap door. It is open. That must be <gasps> Glory. Is that Glory? Or is that Nightshade? Uh, these stairs sure don't feel very safe. <gasps> Long. Nancy, you broke it. Oh my gosh. 
These must be jewels from that jewel heist. Whoa. Whoa. Wait. Okay, so... There was a jewel heist, and the guys stuck jewels in the carousel horses. And... The mother of Joy, I forget her name already. Joy's mom bought this horse. So the culprit, whoever's been wanting to come back for the jewels, who is wanting to come back for the jewels? Who actually sold? Was it Harlan's? I don't. I don't know. Um, I mean, someone would want to know where this actual horse is because this is where the jewels are. I should probably take these with me. Rings, cameo pins, pearls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take that one too, Nancy. Can we read the horse? A letter. Joy's father must have left it for her. My dearest Joy, I hope Miles and his riddles have helped you remember how much you adored this horse and how dearly you loved the woman who gave it to you. I found this picture of her years ago. But I didn't want to give it to you until I knew you were ready. She loved you more than anything, Joy. We both did. Dad. P.S. If you want to see where Glory was carved, look for Kessler's symbol on the wall. I could never spend a lot of time in there. Very strange vibes. Hmm. Maybe if he had some peanut butter and whole wheat bread, he would have been sensing things differently. Oh. I wanted to look at it. Can I look at it? At her picture? I wanted to look at the picture. Oh, okay. I want to look at the horse. Okay. So much for the stairs. Nice, Nancy. So you can't go back up that way? Ugh. Oh, the black rose symbol of Kessler. So this was Kessler's workshop. I'll bet that's the carousel horse that was stolen. It is, because that's Nightshade. That's the lead horse. Look at all these parts. There's so many of them. Oh, what a lovely sketch. Gluing the pieces together. Somebody's been making reproductions. Or should I say forgeries? Paint colors. Whoa. They're beautiful. For someone who's actively using the products here, there's spider webs. Oh. I want to look at the posters. Dark Horse at Sinus? Sinus? From Huckster at PTC.SC90. Two customers already have two potential buyers. They learned about the hauntings on TV and are champing at the bit. <laughs> Pun. As it were. <laughs> the sooner they can get the horse, the better. How soon can you get two done? The above was a reply to... Okay, so Dark Horse is the person who person's email here. May 27th. Got a deal. A 40, you, and 60, me. Split will work out great. Consider this a handshake. How long will it be? Will it take you to line up buyers? Oh, okay, that's what you said. Three weeks. Unacceptable. Three to five weeks is too long. This kind of buyer gets cold feet real fast. The longer you take, the more suspicious they'll get. Work faster. It's taking me longer than I thought I would. would won't have the first horse ready to ship for three weeks. The second horse will be ready in maybe five. Oh, dears. Whoever's been working on it is behind. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Who's been working hard on this? Look at all these parts just stuffed in here. How disturbing is that? Look at, oh, look at how that's ornately carved with a horse head here. Oh my. Huh. Okay, here we go. Huh? Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. What Nancy, Nancy, done? Nancy. It's what you've done. You stole the horse, you fabricated the whole haunted carousel thing to increase its value, and now you're making not just one forgery, but several. You think? You let everyone believe you were just a hopeless procrastinator. But this is the real reason you're behind in your work, isn't it? Right on all counts. Unfortunately, you're not going to get to tell anyone else. Ever. No, wait. Look what I have. 
They're diamonds, real diamonds. Someone stole them 23 years ago and stashed them in the park. Well, well, little icing on the cake. <laughs> But if you, you, but if you think I'm letting you have them, but if you think I'm letting you have them, you're nuts. You're toast now, Nancy. <laughs> Aw, I died. Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. Nancy, Nancy, what Nancy. What have you done? It's what you've done. You stole the horse, you fabricated the whole haunted carousel thing to increase its value, and now you're making not just one forgery, but several. You think? You let everyone believe you were just a hopeless procrastinator. But this is the real reason you're behind in your work, isn't it? Right on all counts. Unfortunately, you're not going to get to tell anyone else. Ever. No, wait. Look what I have. They're diamonds. Real diamonds. Someone stole them 23 years ago and stashed them in the park. Well, well. Little icing on the cake. That's right. You want them? Here. Ouch! <laughs> hey! I've got to get out of here. How do we end up in here? On a sidewall or something? Where is the entrance? Oh goodness, it's so well hidden. Jump, Nancy. I'm trapped! I've got to get out of here. Got you, Nancy. You're cornered. You might as well give up. And we just run, right? Oh. <gasps> End of the road, detective. <laughs> okay. I just had to see that second chance. Gotta get out of here. Why do I still I have you, Nancy? You're cornered. The jewels in you my might inventory. as well give up. Ah! Ouch. Ah! Soon as I get out of here, I'm gonna call the police, Elliot. So don't bother making plans for tonight. <laughs> or the next ten years. Dear Ned, after trapping Elliot, I managed to pry the exit open and had Harlan call the police. Elliot admitted to stealing the carousel horse and planning the remote control device. He knew that publicity from the hauntings would increase the value of his forgeries. Needless to say, he's gone back to not liking me. Harlan, on the other hand, adores me now, because not only did he share the credit for busting Elliot, but his sudden fame brought him three job offers. Mm -hmm. He's staying on at Captain's Cove out of loyalty to Paula, but he's happy knowing that being an ex-con will probably never be an issue for him again. As for Ingrid, she promptly attributed Elliot's bad behavior to a deficiency in some mineral I couldn't pronounce. And Joy, mm -hmm. when I gave her the picture of her mother, she started smiling and has yet to stop. Inventing Miles was the best thing her late father could have done for her. In fact, when I went to the park to say goodbye just now, she wasn't in her office. She was riding the carousel. Ever yours, Nancy. <laughs> Cute. Hey, sassy detective. Congratulations on solving the haunted carousel case. Okay, was this the first? I think this was the first game to incorporate sassy detective awards for winning. Based on your cool, sleuthing style, you are presented with a... Is it the second chance one? Oh! The Magellan. Magellan? Magellan. <laughs> in recognition of exploring every nook and every cranny in the game. Look at the anchors all the way around. Speaking of anchors, uh, check out my shirt. This, it's better to see the back side. Let's see if I can't... I can't turn around in time for you to see this. This is... It's probably not a good shot. It's a shirt from Perkins Cove in Maine, which is where one of the Nancy Drew conventions happened, and it was the area that inspired the book Mystery of the Tolling Bell, including a few other books. But I thought uh, the Captain's uh, uh, Perkins Cove anchor and wheel was appropriate for this. Anyways. <laughs> you have reached 555-4468. I can't come to the phone right now, so please leave a message. 
Hi, Bess. Hi, George. Well, thanks to you guys, I'm leaving here and flying directly to the Pacific Northwest for some much-needed R&R. George, I just got off the phone with that marine biologist friend of yours. She insisted I stay with her, and she even said she'd take me whale-watching on the tour boat she owns. Anyway, thanks for arranging this little vacation, you two. One whole week of peace, quiet, and sitting around doing nothing. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Bye! <laughs> this music is from Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. As if. Ah. Well, back in the day when... It doesn't even have a release date listed on here. I was gonna say back in the day when we, uh, when Her Interactive revealed the next game title and, uh, general mystery synopsis. Max Holacek, the creative director. Yes, it's Max Holacek. That was a picture that we saw in the magazine, that's right. Mark Templin, yeah, the develop one of the developers. He was uh, the mullet-haired guy from the uh, heist article, or newspaper. I remember Amy Janice. She helped run the message boards back in the day. The message boards that we all knew and loved. Maureen Carroll, administrative specialist. She's still at the company. And then this game was also outsourced for character animations. The music was uh, outsourced to Kevin Manthe. Manthe did um, a lot of the game soundtracks. The sound was done over at Clatter and Den. I've been to Clatter and Den a few times. Elliot Chen, Gary Hoffman, I think. He did other things. Okay, look at this. Jonah von Spreken did Harlan, Anton Sukov, the receptionist, and Miles, the magnificent memory machine. Paula Santos, Carrie Healy. Oh, that's right. That was also Professor Hotchkiss. Fred Drager is Detective KJ Harris and Tink Overmeyer. What a difference. Lance Huffington and Louis Guerra was Max, Max Holacek. He's done so many voices. Oh, man. Oh, the nostalgia. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Stay tuned for the next videos. Uh, please comment below which game you'd like me to play next. I'd be happy to oblige. Uh, we're nearing the end of summer, so what do you think? A fall game, maybe? What would be your preference? Comment below, and thanks again. I will see you in the next video. How do I close out?